I bought this Trundler bed for $25 with the mattress and I am going to try and use a circular saw for the first time to cut it down along here to make the end come off and then hopefully turn it into a slat bed. I'll see how I go. It might wreck it completely. <laughs> Cutting out slats for the bed, and I'm using a fine wood cutting blade on a jigsaw to do this. And as you can see, I started with a blade, it was way too rough. <laughs> I ended up going to buy more, so that's with the um, just rougher cut blade. You can see it's angled out, and then um, this was with the fine cut ones just with ones from the warehouse these and they're working fine for this job i just thought i'd show you the bed all together and how i've done this and this is going to be the front edge so the trundler bed now I've chopped the end off it and <laughs> i couldn't show you it, after I've done it with a circular saw, it was a monstrosity. As you can see, I would not recommend using a circular saw. Look at this bit. It just ripped it to shreds because I didn't know what I was doing. So now I've changed to a jigsaw, which probably any of you would have known to use a jigsaw. And I totally recommend a jigsaw for this kind of project. Um, I've just bought one for $29 from Bunnings. And so here is the Trundler bed up on some four by twos that I got from Bunnings and the side edge is under here now here so we've uh, put it under the slats instead and then so I'm going to put a four by two or well not a four by two one of these and under the edge here as well and then I'm going to put um, extra supports on these markings that I have here so that all we've had to do with the trundler bed is put the sides in here now and screw in here yeah, absolutely not perfect job but $25 for that inner mattress can't go wrong for all that wood and then a piece of ply here for the front and I've made slats for to go on the top here when it is up and here's the slats 11 slats for all in there and I have measured out where these 4x2s are under here to make some openings for plastic bins in the front on this ply. And I'll show you how I go. It's not a best, the best piece of ply, obviously, but I'm using the other wood to kind of support it. This is for the front edge, so it looks a bit nicer. And I've started to jigsaw it up to here. Just a total novice, but showing you how I do it, so hopefully can inspire others too as well. And hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so this is all cut down and then I'll meet up. Once I've done the other slats, I'll be able to show you easier anyway. Pretty exciting for me. Paint done and starting to choose decor colours. Whee! <laughs> Super duper stoked. Um, it's not quite finished. The slats aren't screwed in and things. We're waiting to do that when it gets in the bus so it doesn't um, get... <laughs> trapped in the bus door and just gives us more maneuver maneuverability of getting it into the bus and it's looking great and I'm so happy and proud these are the metal bunks loft bunk that I am starting with and I'm prepping to spray paint it I just thought I'd show you them before they're painted so they were a loft bunk with a desk under here and I'm going to paint this and then the bed I've been making is going to slide in under here. Hopefully I've got all my measurements and things right. So there's some a few bumps and bruises and things on it. But this was $70, so not complaining. Something like this at the shop is, what, like $800. Getting there, all cut out here, nailed on here, and legs. And then some support beams here. 
down the ends and then I have ended up getting the two pieces for here for more stability when the slats attach on and I've bogged up the screw holes and I'm about to sand them for painting and I've got these cool tests I just thought I'd quickly show you so I'm actually going to paint it because there's there was too many uh, things I needed to putty but this is a linseed oil paint then this is coffee a cheap home stain if you wanted to and then you could oil over it and then this was coconut oil and olive oil just trying out things at home and then the slats are all a bit flimsy we feel so we're going to put some strapping tape on top of them just to make it a bit more robust hopefully for um the kids and stuff like maybe jumping on it and just don't want to have to redo slats getting so close slats aren't actually screwed on yet but just wanted to show you the layout of the slats so the front pulls out and then the slats have um we're not actually that Happy with these slats because they're only 12 mil, and we're going to put some strapping tape on them. We've tried to just like it, and I love the look of it. It looks so nice, but um, just practicality first, and to prevent any of them breaking, um, we're going to strengthen them with some, hopefully strengthen them with some strapping tape, tape over them, and I'll show you a photo or video next of them. Yay! Whoop, whoop. we have a bed so a few other things that I have done since the last video of course is to screw on the slats as you can see um, there is two pieces of wood to attach the slats and I have filed down here with a Stanley knife. You could probably use a file. I just didn't want to create too much dust in here. That's because when I was pushing the bed, and I'll try to do my best to video it, sorry, one-handed, they just weren't sliding as well as I'd liked with them both not being sanded down. So it's sanded down and underneath here too. Just very hard to show you. I don't want to break anything. So these are sanded down. There you go. So the curve hits the curve. Sorry about the focusing there. And then slides up nicely. Hopefully, most of the time. Especially when the mattresses are on there. There you go. Woohoo! So, I had to admit defeat with these slats. Mine were just way too thin and flimsy. I tried my best. But, um, thanks to Clint. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Clint. He, um, he's done some way thicker 18mm um, ply slats for me mine were just not cutting it at the 10 mil and yeah I am just so glad I admitted that I was incompetent <laughs> there I did try my best but they were so um, <laughs> I need to bring one in to show you actually they were so swirly on the sides wavy and then he came back with these amazingly cut ones and yeah it's just made a world of difference the strength of them is so much better like you can sit on them and things without them bowing but um I think it's good to give it a go yourself and then just yeah give um your mates a call or ask someone else to help you if you feel like you're not really happy with your project because I'm so much happier now it's done and I've changed the color I had a lighter blue but it wasn't working with the colors in here we've got this salmony copper on the sides and it was just clashing so I'm going with a darker blue at the moment and I thought I'd better very shamefully show you my slat that I made compared to Clint's one so I got quite desperate and so <laughs> it's stapling on like this strapping and stuff to try and make it more flexible so I'll just put it on the bed here and you can just see how much it flexes just me doing this and then these ones like I'll oh, go to that one just they don't even move <laughs> so um, that's just a good example of my project where if I'd have kept going with these ones, trying to make them work, the um, 10 mil compared to the 18 mil, and so this is probably structural sound ply. Sorry about it. it's the nighttime, so the 
video is not good again but um yeah it just wasn't feeling right for me and I would have basically ruined my whole project and still been worrying right now even after they're screwed on so yeah just sometimes um, employ the experts or ask the experts and thanks again Clint very 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 much for saving my project yay okay so trying to show both beds together so this is the bunk that goes above them that's going to be a double bed pulls out to the ladder and the bed or second room top floor level is up here and it's worked out really well I just wanted the airflow I didn't want to close everything in um, and then see with the bunks it will be a more blocked off you can uh, with the mattress on there but you can see right through still so it's by not using heaps of wood and things from recycling the tubular bunks it's kept it really light and airy in here. There'll be good airflow for the mattresses and bedding. And it's all working really well, like the colourways. Um, Greys and mushroom, I think the carpet is. I, would, I need to do another carpet video before I show you it properly. But yeah, really happy. Thanks heaps to Clint for helping and heaps to Danny who helped with the tubular bunks by cutting off the feet. Whoop, whoop.